Hello, 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 and welcome, welcome, welcome. So, I've been wanting to open a box of cards, and uh, we're in that weird lull of the season where, you know, people are like, oh, no, the card market's down, which it is. It's slow. My eBay is dropped to, you know, $500 a month now or something, which is just the way it is. Basketball's almost done. Hockey's almost done. Football hasn't started. Baseball's in that middle of the thing. All-star games in a couple weeks. So you're kind of in that middle mark on a lot of stuff. So I've been wanting to open something, and what I'm going to open today is 1990 Topps Hockey. Now, this is, you know, king of the junk wax kind of time. 1990 Topps Hockey, and these ones are, of course, going to have the gum. So uh, we're going to hope that the gum isn't ruining any of the thing. But in 1990 Topps Hockey, there's no, like, big card. There's nothing that's going to, like... You know, there's not the $100 card or $50 card or something in this box. But again, these boxes are, I don't know, 20 bucks, 25 bucks, somewhere around there. So, you know, there's all-star cards. There's like uh, Wayne Gretzky inserts that are kind of cool. There's a lot of guys that were rookies in 1990 that are Hall of Famers and stuff like that. You got like uh, Yuri Curry. You got uh, Festusov. You got McGinley. Uh... Sergei Makarov for the Flames. I mean, wasn't like a great NHL player, but an amazing Russian player. Uh, Martin Jelena. Uh, Cujo, one of my favorite, uh, uh, favorite, favorite goalies of all time. You got Mark Recchi. Mike Ricker. Rod Brindamore was a rookie. Madano is one of the big ones in 90. And uh, let's see here. Uh, I'd like to say Larianov was also or something. Um yeah, Larianov. Igor Larianov was a rookie. So anyways, those are some of the rookies. You also, you know, any of the other kind of cool older guys, you know, like to keep their cards too. So um, I have had people that are like, you shouldn't, you know, do this to the box. Those boxes could be worth money. No, nobody's paying good money to it for an empty box of 1990 Topps Hockey. I mean, if you are, hey, uh, I'll gladly take your whatever is good money <laughs> for an empty box. But anyways, all right, I will not eat the gum. Do not ask me um, if, if you're crazy if you're going to eat the gum out of these things. I'll tell you that right now. They taste nothing but, like, chemicals. They're disgusting. Um, now, here's one thing that, like, maybe some of you know, some of you don't. But there's actually cards on the box, too. So let's see who we got. On the box, we got Pierre Turgeon. We got Doug Wilson. We got, we got the Makarov. Sergey Makarov, that's why I was thinking of him. That, that'd be his rookie card. And Don Beaupre, that might be Beaupre's rookie card also. So, you know, what you were supposed to do back in the day was, like, cut those off. Some people would just cut off the whole box and, like, keep these. Um, but as you see, they're not perforated or anything. Those were just, like, examples of cards that they put on them. So, you know, like, we got Glenn Featherstone here. Steve Larmer, I mean, you know, Bill Ransford, Cam Neely are on the other part. But see, they did make them to where they're actually cards. See? So, anyways, back in the day, these were 50 cents a pack. King of the junk wax. This is like junk wax era time right here. I mean, they literally come in wax. So, anyways, let's pop these open. Let's have a good time. Let's, let's turn up the jazz music a little bit. Um, if it gets a little too loud, we'll turn it off. Let me zoom in for you. Let's go. There we go. That's pretty good, right? Yeah. Try to make it to where you can see. All right. Hey, right off the bat, pretty good. Some of that disgusting gum. You can see what the gum does to them. Big old gum stain. It's all right. It's Dave Barr. I don't even. I don't even keep those cards. Patrick Waugh card. As everybody knows, Patrick Waugh, amazing goalie. Let's actually turn this down a little bit. My sultry jazz might get a little... All right, we got a Rangers team card. We got Neil Broughton. I'm going to throw my comments in there. Kay Whitmore, Glenn Hallen, Paul Yes Barrett. That's the top prospects. Devils card. Yes Beret. I don't know how do you say Alexi... Uh, Kasa, Kasanov, Kasatonov. So he was one of the, uh, he, this is rookie card. 
like like a lot of older cards too. You know, they don't just say rookie on them or something. You got to know. So a uh, rookie card, him, Makarov, uh, Larianov, and Ku Krutov, something like that. Krutov. Vladimir Krutov, though those were like there was like five big Russian players that came into the NHL in 1990. Now the reason the guy you keep on talking about Makarov, Sergei Makarov with the Flames, the reason he ended up not having like some amazing career in the NHL, he was a 31 year old rookie. So that's why you're not going to have like crazy stats on some of those guys. Now, no uh, Igor Larionov, he was like the starting center for, I mean, well or center line guy for Detroit when they won three uh, Stanley Cups. So, you know, great career for him in the NHL. But a lot of the guys like, like, uh, you know, Kastanov and stuff, they actually already had all their thing. They won something like three gold medals in the Olympics, two or three gold medals in the Olympics, maybe a silver also. And then I know that they won something like six or eight World Cup championships. So that's... Why they were like in their 30s by the time they made it to the NHL. All right, so we got uh, a Wayne Gretzky insert, team scoring leaders. Paul Cavanlini, Makala, Scarred on Neo. There's a Brett Hull uh, uh, All Star card. There is an All Star card that we're, or no, it's a highlights card that, th that we're looking for. It's the Yeri Curry. That's the one where they misspelled his name. Patrick Sundstrom, Kevin Hatcher. And gum stain. Good old gum stain on Brad McCrimmon. It's all right. It's McCrimmon. Doesn't really matter. Now, some of the cards you'll see me keeping, you're going to be like, why did he keep those? I guess I could keep the wax, though. Some people like the old wax, right? Some people like the old wax packages if they're in good shape. These ones are in pretty good shape. Yeah, these ones are in pretty good shape. So maybe I will keep them. Maybe I'll line a whole wall in wax. Uh, Bob, all right, let's 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 flip this over here. They do the whole half the things in one. Oh, I saw a bright hole. All right, Todd Alick, Trevor Linden. Linden was a good player. Canucks team card, Mike Vernon, Flames. Now, one thing is like you'll, uh, 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 you'll see is I'll keep all the flames because I'm a flames fan. Anyways, Vladimir Krutov. There he is. There's the other guy. So, yeah, he was born. This is 1990. He was, this is his rookie card. He was the 238th pick in the 1985 draft, the 11th round. Um, uh, let's see. He was born in 1960. So he's 30 years old when he's a rookie. Uh, like I said, not an amazing game. Not an amazing career by any means. I think Krutov, too. Oh, yeah. That's the thing with Krutov. That's the reason I remember him. He only played this one season. This is his only season he played in the NHL. He, uh... Like, was... Like, he didn't do... He didn't have, like, an amazing season or anything. Um, 61 games played, 11 goals, 23 assists. Hey, not bad for a rookie, but when you're a 30-year-old guy from Russia, he, he went back and played, like, in Russia and stuff, and then I think he was, like... Team Russia's uh, uh, like head coach or something. All right, we got Bob Beers, Red Hole, Gary Lehman, Dino Cicerelli, Guy Carbono, Jamie Leach, Gino Cavallini, Essa Tikkanen, Russ Cortnall. Russ Cortnall was a good player. And if you're wondering like values, I don't even know why I'm keeping some of these rookie guys. Actually, let's let's keep. Uh, no, we're not going to keep Leech. We'll keep Hole. No need to keep Beers. Krutov will keep. We'll keep the team cards. We'll keep the Gretzky. We'll keep the other Russian guy, Jasper. We'll ditch him. Patrick Roy. What I do with a lot of these older cards is I'll, I'll put them into, like, team sets or something, and I'll usually sell them off to people that collect. Finch's thing and get a buck or something for them. Uh, dump my gum. Keep the plastic. I'm gonna keep the plastic right down here. All right. Sorry, a little bit of uh, off-camera work here. All right. Joe Newendike, scoring leaders, Flyers team card. 
Tom Barrasso, good goalie back in the day, man. Barrasso, what was his stats? Let's look. Uh, let's see, game played. Oh, that's funny. They, they just show his average. They don't show his wins or anything, though. They just show minutes, goals against, and shutouts. 13 career shutouts. Um, played in 44 games for 88, 80, 89. A lot of minutes, but they don't show any of his wins. Um, Wendell Clark, Craig Fisher, Steve Thomas, Al Infante, I think. Was this it? Infante's rookie year? No, no, he played a ton before. Like I said, though, it's it's kind of really misleading, though, because you can't just look on the back and see that it was somebody's rookie year because a lot of the time it's their rookie year, but uh, they uh, uh, actually played a couple of years. Martin Jelinas, I think Jelinas. No, Jelinas wasn't a rookie that year either. Yeah, he had played a couple of years for the thing. Uh, Craig Cox, Ron Hextel, Hubie McDonald, Curtis Lachason. Patrick Flatley, Jeff Jackson, another team card of the Kings. Oh, gum stain on the Kings card, unfortunately. Now, if you're wondering, you're like, wow, man, Ryan seems to know a lot about these uh, vintage hockey. I did my research. I always do. You know, there's so many sets, so many people that are rookie cards, stuff like that. Oh, no, it was Martin Jelinus's. Do we have Jelinus? I think we did. It was his rookie year. So let's pull him back out. That's why I, I, I go on and, 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 you know, go on the old Google and type in who, whose rookie year was that. Because just like that, Martin Jelinas, he'd already played 88-89. He played in 46 games. So 1990 was his rookie card. I mean, it's easy when it says top prospect or something, but... But that's why that's why I write it down. So that way I don't go ditching Jelinas. I mean, eh, dollar card, right? But I like to keep the keep the guys. Like I said, the card market is down a little bit right now. Now that doesn't mean these old wax hockey cards. They never really hit crazy numbers to begin with. They're not basketball or something. It's not people weren't paying stupid money for you know good players. Unfortunately, my gum stained card is. A Mark Messier. That sucks. All right. We'll pull him out. Pull Messier with the... Back when he was still with the Oilers. All right. Kelly Kiso, Dave Sundergaard, Mike Volt, David Volick, Luke Robitaille. Uh, was it Luke Rob Robitaille's rookie year? No. No. Darren Poopa. Oh, this is a uh, uh, Darren Poopa. Now, the funny thing about this... <clears throat> this is a an error card. Darren's name is actually spelled D-A-R-R-E-N, Poopa. Not that it... I, I think it makes it a nickel to a dime card instead or something, right? But Darren Poopa, error card. Rick Tockett, scoring leader. Bob Sweeney, Don Maloney, John Tucker, James Patrick, Brent Sutter... Brent Sutter was a good player. Uh, Craig Wolanin. Wolanin. Yeah, if you go to eat the gum, I'll tell you right now, the gum tastes like cardboard and wax, and it's going to be pretty gross. It, it, there, it's, I would not suggest eating that stuff. It tastes like chemicals, wax, and it just turns the powder in your mouth. Um, I see people do it, though. And it's like, they'll do it out of funniness. All right, all right, all right. Let's flip these right. Peter Zezel, Jim Johnson, Mike Ridley, David Volick, Joe Neuendijk, Bob, Bob Brook, John Chabot, Stevie Y. I'm just going to flip through these. There's no need to re read every name, right? Now, again, these are all wax cards, so, you know, there is inserts, I say, but they were like these, uh, just like this. Here's one of the inserts from another box I had opened at some point. You know, it's going to be like that. It's going to be the, that might be the OPG. Now, of course, I'll learn you a little bit here. OPG and Topps, same company. Yeah, they were just produced by Topps called OPG in Canada, so, you know, the OPG, like, 
for instance, like the, uh, uh, you know, Wayne Gretzky tops rookie isn't it worth as much as the OPG one. Mark Messier again. Kerry Wilson, that's another name. There was a lot of errors this year, and um, I don't have this written down. I just know this stuff. Uh, I'm smart like that. Um, <laughs> Kerry Wilson, his name is C-A-R-E-Y Wilson, but they misspelled his name. Uh, Jim Wheat. Joel Otto. Joel Otto was a good player. Ray Bork. Michael Goulet. I don't remember. Ah, we don't need to keep any Goulets. Goulet was a good player. Bernie Fed Feder Federico. Perry Berzeron. Glenn Wesley. This might have been Glenn Wes. No. It doesn't matter. It's a gum stain card, anyways. Now, I have these one wax packs I'm going to open sometime. They're called Repacked Wax is the name of the company. They actually, you know, repack these old wax cards. And what they do is they put like an insert thing to protect it from the gum. Uh, but they do give you gum. Joe Sackick. Scoring leader card. Let's see, there's a Wayne Gretzky. Now this Gretzky... Is this number 120? This is number 120. So there's a there's an error on this. Let's let it zoom in. You see his assists? 13,102. That's the error. Because, I mean, you can do math. 3 plus 61 plus 86 plus, you know, 100 each year doesn't equal 13,000. It's supposed to be 1,300, I think. Or something. Or 300. I, I think it's supposed to be... I don't know what it's supposed to be. But it's not 13,000. So that's, a, that's an error card. That's actually worth a couple bucks. Um, Dino Cicerelli. Guy Carboneau. Al McGinnis. Jeremy Roenick. Now that's Roenick rookie. I'm going to keep that. bad thing too about opening these is you get all the the gum bits all over your table and it gets all sticky it's gross that's why Fleer and them once top sued them and they weren't able to have gum in their packs anymore they were so much better with those sticker cards all right mike lalore john Ogrundick. we're not gonna i know it's a. Uh, there's jamie leach s in Russ Courtnall. Was this Russ Courtnall's rookie year? No. There's something with the Russ Courtnall card, though. There's something with this one. I think there's an error on this card or something. Maybe it's just because he's got like an imposing looking stare that people like that one. Alright, we got the Blackhawks team card. Ron Sutter, Matthew Schneider, Stefan Lavou. Doug Gilmore. Doug Gilmore. Man. Oh. Whoop. Gord Murphy. Rookie card of Gord Murphy is the gum stain. It's all right. It was Gord Murphy. So. Well, on my sheet, I wrote down like, ah, oh, man, I tore that one. Well, we're not going to keep that package. We're not going to keep that wax. Um, I didn't mean to tear it. All right, Mark Messier, Derek King, Doug Brogger. There's Fedosov, Vyacheslav Fedosov. He's the other guy, uh, the rookie that came from Russia with that big group. Vyacheslav. Darren Turcutt, Jeff Cortnall. I think Jeff Cortnall was a rookie. Though there was a lot of rookies in these, but... You know, some of them don't mean anything. Paul Coffey, All-Star. Dave Anderchuk. There's a Joe Sackett card. Now, as you see, these are packed fresh, but I don't know if you can see it. So, 
See the bubbles look from that gum? The Patrick Watt, the Joe Sackett card is pretty pretty gnarly because of the gum. You can see it right there, right? All the bubbles where it ate through. That's why gum sucked back in the day. That's why when you see those ones that are like worth a lot and they're PSA 10s, it's because they happen to not be the gum card. They happen to be in perfect shape. I'm throwing these in that box right there and I got like 1970s hockey cards in there and stuff. Just a handful that I pulled out of a thing. I bought a big old pile from somebody off of eBay. Just their bulk lot of their old old cards from when they were a kid and I paid ten dollars for the whole thing. It was twenty five bucks shipping. But I paid ten bucks and I pulled some decent cards out of it. Um I was pretty happy with my ten dollar purchase there. I, I don't know if I'll make back a bunch of my money, but alright, we got one of the Gretzky's again. Paul Coffey. And now, here's the thing, too, is I think Paul Coffey... I don't think it shows. It says defense. Wasn't Coffey like a... I don't think he was a defensive player. I think he was like a left winger or something. Rick Bennett, rookie. Kevin Deneen. There's our checklist. So see, Hog Gretzky Tribute 1, 2, and 3. And then there's the highlight cards, and then there's Jeremy Roenick. Uh, Robert Semeta. Now, if you've been watching the NHL playoffs, we're down to four teams. Luckily, there's still a Canadian team. And me being a Canadian from back in the day... I am uh, hoping that the Habs, Montreal, makes it all the way. They're up 2-1 right now at the making of this video. They uh, pulled out a win in overtime last night against Las Vegas. And the other team is uh, the uh, uh, Lightning and um, Islanders. I'm really hoping the Stanley Cup Finals is the Habs and the Islanders because then that's like old school finals i cannot stand tampa bay uh lightning do not like them and uh honestly i don't exactly like las vegas either so uh you know if you're if you don't ever get ice in your town naturally i don't think you get to have a hockey team i get it why they have them but vincent damn house doop house damp house larry robinson steve smith brian bellows Scoring leader. Ake Bullard. Stefan Lefebvre. S I mean, S Sylvain Lefebvre. That's a funny picture. He looks like he's scared. Or like he's just poops pants. All right. As you see, typical wax packs, you get a lot of packs in these things, so this is going to be a decently long video. But it's alright, I haven't put up a video in a while, so, and like I said, I was wanting to open something. I've been trying to, trying to up my eBay, trying to put stuff back on. They haven't really fixed the eBay problems. I've just said, screw it, i got to deal with it, I guess. So it sucks, I have to load my things on my phone, like I usually do, and then I go onto the thing. Rod Brindamore. That's Brindamore's rookie. I know that. Scott Stevens. I'm pretty sure this is Scott Stevens' rookie, too. Absolutely is not. No. He'd already played a bunch of years. That is definitely Brindamore's. There's Joe Mullen. Now, like I said, just because you see me sticking the foot. I always like this Guy Lafour. Kind of forget that he played for the Nordiques. Highlights Brian Trotter. Brian Bellows, All-Star. Mo Man Mantha. Mo Mantha. Mike Ricker, Rookie Card.
Pat LaFontaine, scoring leaders. Mario Lemieux. Tergeron, Hal McGinnis. Marty McSorley. Man, guy that will live in infamy for getting that hit right in the side of the head. Yuri Hadina. Andy Moog. Buffalo Sabres. Team card. Yui Krupp. Old gum stain Yui Krupp. Now, thinking of, uh, uh, speaking of Lemieux, here's something I picked up in that box set. These things, like, came in, uh, basically a Band-Aid tin. Mario Lemieux, these are actually produced by, licensed by Mario Lemieux himself. It'd be great if I was, like, in camera, right? I forget that the lens is right over here and not over there. Um, and then there's, like, four metal cards. I have them wrapped in paper right now. I'm gonna probably put those on, on eBay. I am a I am a Lemieux fan though. Possibly the second best player of all time. <clears throat> I see another Jeremy Roenick. All right, there's Krutov again. Rob Zettler. As you see, we haven't pulled any of those uh, inserts, though. Stuck to it. Cam Neely, all-star card. Of course, it's going to be gum-stained. Uh, Mueller, there's Ronick again. Now, as you can see, too, even though there's Ronick, pack fresh, look at how off-center that is. Pretty off-center. In fact, this whole pack is pretty off-center. Well, that one's not bad. This one's pretty off-center, though. Gel Samuelson. I always think, like, nowadays, like, that guy right there, he probably, like, owns a bar in Sweden or something or in Philly. And, uh, you know, they're like, oh, old Gel there. He used to play for the Flyers back in the day. They have, like, some of his old gear up or something. I'm saying that he's probably, like, a dairy farmer in Wisconsin now or something. But I always wonder what those guys are doing. You know, some of them go on to be coaches and things like that. And some of them just, you know, they go live out their days doing their doing their thing. All right. Dale Halverchuk. Craig Fisher. Franchetti. Cullen. There's an Islanders team card. Trevor Linden. There's a Patrick Wall All Star card, gum stain of course. Man, all the ones that I want to keep, are all the gum stain cards. Ruins them. That, that was a dollar fifty, two dollar Patrick Wall card, and now it's fifty cents. And there's nothing you can really do about those. Like, at least these aren't those old baseball... Oh, man, I tore that... No, I saved it. Tore a little corner on it. It's fine. How am I ever going to be resealing these with my iron and then selling them off to people? With all the good ones taken out. How am I going to do that? I'm not that type of person, but there are those people that do that. For sure. Pierre Tirjan. My favorite, though, is when they do reload them, they'll just put, like, you'll just get, like, 14 Jock Cloutier cards in one pack, and it's, like, it's kind of obvious. Special scoring leader glossy card inside. funny when that was like the big deal it was like hey it's got a scoring leader glossy card you're like tops if you can make it to where your gum doesn't stain up my card that'd be pretty awesome of course though i don't think they were thinking of 30 years from now when a guy in his basement in colorado opens these up we got to make sure the gum doesn't stain it all right steven richer 
Perdina. There's a Devils team card. Brian Leach. Now, was this Leach's rookie year? I don't know. I don't remember. I don't have it written down. Croup, Hartman. The big, the big rookies are McGinley, uh, Jelena, Curtis Joseph, Recky, Ricker, uh, Brindamore, Madano, Teppo Newman in. We haven't had a Teppo Newman in yet. And uh, and then there's like the Russian guys, Igor and 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 Vladimir. We've got a couple of Vladimirs. We got a Alexei Krastinov, right? I think we got one of those. We got a Vyacheslav. Joe Newendike. Mark Messier again. But as you see, not a lot of not a lot of uh, not a lot of Gretzky's. We got the one Gretzky though. We got the one. That's the misprint. So that's that's the that's the crazily that's the good card to get is the Gretzky misprint. But like most of my Gretzkys, I, I keep them anyways. I don't sell them. I might sell. I don't know. I might sell. Hockey interest has kind of gone up a little bit just because it's such a good playoff series right now that uh, people are watching hockey. Ron Francis scoring leaders. Zarly Zalapaski. Old Zarly. Tony Tanty. There's a Dougie Gilmore. There's Makarov again, rookie card. Paul Coffey, Langway, Wood, Peter Sidorkowitz, Mike Gardner. The old Austin, the old uh, Hartford Whalers. Man, I loved, my bro that was my brother's favorite team was back in the day, was the Hartford Whalers. I think he just liked the colors. I'd like to say he had like a one of those old school starter jackets of the Hartford Whalers because I remember having a Seattle Seahawks one because they'd be in like the discount bin because you know nobody had them nobody wanted them and uh, uh, I remember rocking rocking a Seattle Seahawks one kind of wish I still had it it's probably worth a couple bucks nowadays knowing my brother and he'll watch this he probably still has it see now there's Darren Poopa again look D-A-R-R-E-N Poopa so I can't remember I think that's the correct way to spell his name. And the other one that had just one R is the incorrect way. Maybe I'll dig that out. You know what? I might. I might put the two poopas together in a thing just because it's kind of funny that <clears throat> they missed his miss, misspelled his name. Peter Savoda. Dave Anderchuk. That's what I'll do is I'll dig through that. Or maybe we'll come across another one. I mean, they ain't worth nothing. Adam Oates. And if you're seeing good players, you're like, man, Adam Oates, he's a Hall of Famer. Why aren't you keeping his card or something? I, you know, value-wise on these cards, you're looking at like a nickel, maybe a quarter, maybe 50 cents. <coughs> so just because they're a Hall of Famer doesn't mean like it's worth a lot of money by any means. And sometimes it's just, I'll keep the, like I said, I keep all my Calgary Flames cards because I'm a Calgary Flames fan. Um, even though they're worth nothing, some of those are worth nothing, you know. All right, scoring leaders: Dino Cicerelli, Charlie Hoodie, Zombo, Curtis Lachesen, Lefebvre, Keith Acton, Los Angeles Kings, and, that, and like that with the Lefebvre, you're wondering like why I cut one and I throw the other one in there. It's not his rookie. I don't. I don't think it's his rookie. So, Rod Brindamore, that's his rookie again. Gum just gets everywhere. Right, it's good to see that there's a Lemieux on that side that didn't get gum stained.
And I saw a Gretzky, so that's good. Not a regular Gretzky, but... Oh, yeah, here's another misprint. Look at that. Mario Marios. Look at that, the OIS, the way it's on there. A little bit of a misprint on that. The OIS is all messed up. Steve Tuttle, Wayne Gretzky. There's Mike Madonna's rookie card. Off center, big time, right to left. Mario Lemieux again. Now, I haven't been working a lot because the Nuggets got swept in the second round by the Phoenix Suns. So I have not been at my regular job at Mike Stadium Sports Cards and Collectibles in, in Aurora, Colorado. I have not been in there, uh, which is probably a good thing because it saves me from buying stuff. And I need to sell stuff. There's another Gretzky. I'll take all the Gretzkys I can get. Brendan Shanahan. I think this was not... No, this isn't Brendan Shanahan's uh, rookie. Peter Klima. Kay Whitmore. Yeah, as you can see, still got a lot of packs to go. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. Needed to uh, get away from the phone for a minute. So anyways, uh, I am back. I've already pre-ripped some of the packs, so we're just going to go through the pile here. And through the power of editing, I will uh, tie the two videos together. Luckily, though, now it won't be a two-hour long video. So uh, we got the Jets. Team card. Now we got to remember that's that's my brand new pike pile. So there's a Mark Messier All Star, and I did go through that whole pile. That's why that box is now smaller. Is I put it in the uh, thing. There's a Lafontaine. There's another checklist. The later one. Kim Neely. Steph Beauregard. Alexi Kastanov. There's the other. That's that other rookie guy. There you go. There's a non gum stain Patrick Waugh. Bruins team card. <coughs> yeah, I had to get away for a second there. Um, and so, power of editing, I'll put the two videos together, which means I'll actually have to plug my phone into my computer and turn on my editing software. So maybe I'll do uh, some music or something. There's a Patrick Waugh All Star card. Kind of getting annoyed though. We've only gotten the one Gretzky, and we haven't gotten any of the Gretzky inserts. Red Hole. But that's why those inserts are worth a couple bucks. Just a couple. They're not worth a ton. And I did pull out the uh, Darren Poopa. The uh... now there's. I think this is the one Yuri Curry. Yeah, this is a uh, uh, error card. Also Yuri Curry. This is his. Um, so Yeri, his name is spelled J-A-R-R-I, and they only spelled it with one R on these, the Yeri Currys. So this is a this is another error card. That's a big one because Yeri Curry was a pretty good player. Um, you know, back in the day they just didn't. There you go. There's a good example. There's Yeri Curry highlights with two R's in the same pack. So I mean. How do they make one card that has one R and a, and the, another card in the exact same pack that has his name correctly? You know, gotta love gotta love the old days when they uh, just didn't have like quality control really. Mario Lemieux, the team scoring leader, one. Bill Ransford, Igor Larionov. There's a rookie of Larionov. Craig McTavish, Ron Francis, man, Whalers. Back when they didn't even wear helmets. It's crazy to think that, you know, you would be a defensive player and not be wearing a helmet.
There's Stevie Y. There we go. There's one of the Gretzky inserts. Is it the same? It's the same one I already got though, out of that other other thing. Same one. Vladimir Rizinka. I remember Rizinka. I think he's Czech. Uh, I'd like to say he's the coach for the Czech national team or something. Might be totally wrong. I did have to clean up some of the gum shavings, but we still got some packs left, so you do still get to see me open some more packs here. Which I know is just the thing that all ten of you that watch these videos love. <laughs> all ten of you. Trying to entertain the ten of you guys. Um, I'm not really caring about keeping the things either. If I don't worry about keeping the wax packs, a lot less trash. I don't even know what I'll do with those other wax packs. The ones that I kept. Alright. Let's get these things. Grant Fuhrer. Hall of Famer, Grant Fuhrer. Luke Robitaille. Dana Mazurin, now he's a nobody, but he's on the Flames. Top prospect, Roger Johansson, Flames guy. Keep him. Stefan Fasse, good goalie back in the day, man. Stefan Fasse. Gary Lehman, Jim Waite. There's Jim Waite's Joel Otto again. Ray Bork again. There's our Wayne Gretzky number 120 again. And again, if you didn't just tuning in or you haven't again thing with this one is the assist total see 13,102 so I think it's supposed to be 1,000 or something maybe I don't know what it's supposed to be but it's definitely not 13,000 that would be I mean Wayne Gretzky might have ended up having 13,000 assists by the end of his career because he was a manimal but you know because he was the Michael Jordan of hockey players alright managed to save another Throw that one right there because it is the gum stained card. Phil Bork, Ray Bork's brother. Johnny Ogrenick. There's the Flames team card. Steve Larmer. I'm trying to blaze through these now. Al Infante again. Martin Jelena, Rook guard. Or, if you are American, you would say it Martin Galinas. But it is pronounced Jelena. Kind of like that Patrick Roy guy. I remember thinking that was so funny when I was a kid, that Roy was Roy. I thought that was so funny when I was a kid. Brian Hayward, Falingo, Deneen. Deneen was a good player, man. Mark Lamb, Fergus. Rangers team card. I have a buddy who's a big Rangers fan, so I might put him together a thing. Michael Goulet. Man, Goulet played for a long time. Let's look at some of his stats here. Games played as of 1990. He had 821 games played. He had 460 goals, 489 assists, 949 points total. Man, he was a good player. I'd like to say he lives here, possibly in Colorado now. Uh, back in the day, my wife, she works as a waxer, and uh, there was a, a lady that she was waxing one time, and the lady said something about her husband was a hockey player, and I remember she asked me, have I ever heard of Michael Goulet? And it was, it was him. And I was like, oh yeah, 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 definitely have heard of him. Cam Neely, Ellos. Blackhawks team card again. Derek King. Festov. Oilers team card. Peter Stasny. Maple Leafs team card. Rob Murphy. Brad Marsh. Franchetti. Lou Franchetti. And a Ray Bork gum stained All Star card. <coughs> 
Gotta love the old gum stained cards. But, I mean, back in the day, you actually bought these for the gum some of the times. You know, it was kind of one of those things. Like, the gum was just as important as the uh, cards. The people ate the gum. There's a Wayne Gretzky All-Star card. Finally. Finally got a couple more Gretzkys. Sean Burke. And he was a good goalie. <clears throat> Steve Larmer. Nah, no need to keep in Steve Larmer. Jeff Cortnall. Hervik, Nylon, Stauber, Butcher. Some of these come apart super easy, so definitely keep them if they come apart easy. It's a pain to flatten those out, though. I mean, I guess if you had a heat table and stuff, you could do it, but really easy. All right, Rick Tockett, Yeri Curry again. Spelled uh, incorrectly, right? No, Yeri Curry, this is, it's the highlights one that's spelled with the, this isn't the highlights, wait. Yeri, Yeri, oh, maybe it's one R in his regular one, and the two R's is the incorrect one. That's the one. It's the two R's that's the incorrect one. Islanders. I knew it was one of them. Patrick Waugh. Darren Shan, Larry Murphy, Verbeek. Gary Sutter. The Old Tuggers. Ron Tugnut. Dave Capuano. No, oh, that one didn't tear right. Screw it. I don't need to keep the pack now. Save ourselves some gum shavings. Stevie Y. Cam Neely. Yvonne Corvu. Regine Lemon. Oh, hey, here, here you go. What's his name from Friends? He looks like uh, the guy from the, the show Friends, right? Dave Christensen there. Looks like, uh, what's his name, the cokehead guy with the crazy hair, Joey's roommate. Can't remember his name. Kind of looks like him, doesn't he? We're going to keep it. See, I'll keep a card like that sometimes just because it's kind of funny. Kind of looks like that. Dude, maybe I'll, I'll even print out a sticker and put his name on it. What, whatever his name is. I'll have to look it up. I can't remember what Joey Joey's roommate's name from Friends was. Paul Reinhardt. Val Rotten. Pierre Turgeon. John Van Riesbrook. Used to be the goalie coach for the uh, Colorado Avalanche. I don't know if he still is. When I worked for the Avs, he was there. Mark Ricci's rookie card. There we go. Finally got one of those. Down to our last pack. So those right there are our keepers. Let's see if we can save the last wax pack. Again, this is Topps 1990 Hockey wax boxes you can buy these super cheap sometimes still um since they are wax packs though you do want to be somewhere where luckily i live here in colorado it doesn't get exactly hot here or something but these aren't boxes like a lot of these wax ones and stuff man if you bought these and they came from like a storage locker that's not air conditioned there we go there's a good insert there's the indianapolis press one of 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 gretzky that's one of the better ones. That's him in his minor league jersey. Number one, Edmonton, Alberta. Started his hockey career here in 1978 with the Indianapolis Racers. Today became the National Hockey League all-time leading point scorer, blah, blah, blah. But the Indianapolis Racers, the insert 
finally got one. Last pack. It's kind of funny how that works. Luke Robotai. Dale Howard Chuck. I don't think that was Howard Chuck's rookie. Mike Ricker rookie. All right. These guys. In here for sleeving. These guys in our box that I got set aside. Let's go over our list here. All right. The all-star inserts, we got definitely some of those. Wayne Gretzky inserts, we got two of those. The Yuri Curry highlights, we got the error card. We got Festive off. We got a, I think we got a McGinley. We got a Markov. We got a couple of Markovs. I think we got one Jelena. We got uh, two of the Wayne Gretzky errors. We got Curtis Joseph, rookie. We got a Recky rookie. We got Richter rookie. We got a Britain Moore rookie, Madonna. Tepo Newmanen. We didn't get a Tepo Newmanen. Alexei Krasnov, Larinov, and Vladimir Krutov. We got some of those. So the only one that we didn't get was a Tepo Newmanen. Um, yep, didn't get Tepo Newmanen. But anyways, it's all right. I think that Tepo's about a dollar. Um, anyways, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. I'll sleeve these up. As usual, I sell cards on eBay. Sullivan Cards Collectibles. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, watch all the other videos, something like that. I have a giant shelf of wax, and uh, I've been tempted to sell some of the wax boxes, but I also kind of like ripping, so I might rip the, uh, uh, the next one I might rip is this one wax box, like I said, it's made by a company called Repack Wax, I have a football and a baseball one, they, they load them up with uh, cool cards, so um, I might open the uh, football one next. Anyways, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Share these videos. Try to get me above 10 views if you can. Hey, if you're falling asleep, just put my uh, card opening things on your thing and let them just play all night long while you're sleeping. That'd be awesome. Let the sul sultry sounds of jazz in my voice uh, lull you to sleep, and you'll wake up thinking of uh, Mike Richter. Anyways, thanks. Bye.